Assalamu alaikum, my dear Falconians of level 3. I am your science teacher, Ms. Mahari Han, and today in this video, I am going to continue unit number 11, the solar system. As you all know that we have completed the two topics in the previous videos. The first topic was 11.1, the sun, and second topic was the moon which we have already covered. Now, in today's video, our last topic is 11.3, the celestial bodies. There are overall three celestial bodies which we are going to cover in this video. The first one is asteroids, the second one is comets, and the third one is meteors and meteorites. Now, moving on towards the first celestial body, which is asteroids, what are asteroids? Asteroids are rocky objects with round or irregular shapes. Irregular means most asteroids are like a potato shape. They can be up to several hundred kilometers across, but most are much smaller. The asteroids move around the sun in their own orbit like small planets, but these asteroids are much smaller than other planets. Now let me show you the simple diagram of asteroid. This is the simple diagram. As you can see, it is like a rocky object and it is shaped like a potato. Then moving on towards the next celestial body, which is about comet. What is comet? Comets are the lumps of ice and dust that sometimes come into the center of the solar system. When comets get close enough to the sun, heat causes them to evaporate. Heat causes the gas and dust to evaporate so the comets can evaporate. Jets of gas and dust form long tails that we can see from the earth. These tails can sometimes be very long. Now, let me show you the simple diagram of comet. As you can see that this is comet, it is like a lump of ice and dust and it can be evaporated when it goes near to the sun by the heat of the sun. Then moving on towards the last celestial body which is meteors and meteorites. The meteors are what we call the shooting stars but they are not stars at all. They are actually the small pieces or chunks of rock, dust or metal that enter the Earth's atmosphere from space at extremely very high speeds. As the meteors, they do we see flashes of light in the night sky, usually lasting just a few seconds. The meteors only last for a few seconds. When they shoot through the atmosphere or bright flashes of light, we call them meteors. And when they reach the ground, we call them meteorites. When these meteors are in the atmosphere, they are called meteors. But when these meteors reach the ground, then they are called the meteorites. This is the difference between meteors and meteorite. Now, the explanation is completed. Now, what is your home assignment level 3? First of all, this is the simple diagram of meteors. As you can see, it looks like a shooting star, but it is not the star at all. They are the small pieces of rocks and dust. Then what is your home assignment level 3? Open your science copies, write down today's date and write down the question with blue color. Write a short note on asteroid, comets, meteors. One by one you have to write down the short note. Short note must exceed 4 to 5 lines only. Then, after this question, as I have already given you the home assignment in the previous video to complete page number 37, this is a reminder message for all of you to complete exercise page number 37 of unit number 11, the solar system. As we have already covered the whole chapter, you are able to complete that page. After the completion of this question, now the last thing which you have to do is to write down the syllabus for final term. The syllabus is written on your screen. You have to write, copy down, same syllabus in your copies. The final term consists of two chapters. The first one is unit number 10, electricity and magnetism. And the second one is unit number 11, the solar system. All the work done in textbook, exercise book and workbook is included in the syllabus. I hope you all get my point level 3. Inshallah, we will be meeting in the next video with the further on work. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Have a nice day, level 3.